And now, let us praise the humble dung beetle. In ancient Egypt, what we now know as the dung beetle, they called it a scarab, was worshipped. The ancient Egyptians believed that the scarab was a god that rolled the sun across the sky and buried it each evening, where it emerged the next morning, born anew. Today, you're much more likely to hear TV comics joking about dung beetles than find entire countries worshipping them. This is an outrage. Why? Because dung beetles are outstanding planetary citizens, performing a vital function. Dung is produced by animals we rely on for food, like uh, cows. Without dung beetles, there'd be a lot more dung. Millions and millions of tons more. And that would mean a few billion more flies. Dung beetles like these in Africa put their heads down, their bottoms up, and use their super strong front legs to roll away this dung, help deal with the fly problem, and recycle the dung for a positive purpose. Male and female dung beetles work together to assemble a suitable dung ball as the centerpiece of their new home. One beetle burrows under the earth to help the dung ball settle in. This aerates the soil and helps the nutrients in the dung ball nourish the earth. Once the dung ball is settled in, the female lays her eggs in the new burrow. When the eggs hatch, they feed on the dung and prepare to begin this valuable renewal of the earth all over again. Dung beetles have been around for 50 million years, with 7,000 species worldwide all united in their love of and need to possess balls of dung. One question about dung beetles for further study. Are they capable of having fun? You know, being frivolous? We're not privy to the thought process of dung beetles. However, watch this sequence and decide for yourself. Now, we all know what fun it is to go to a theme park and take some wild ride that makes us feel like we're out of control. Is this the dung beetle version of this same giddy urge? No safety harness, no crash helmet. Whoa, that was wicked cool. The humble dung beetle. Because of it, we live in a better, less smelly world.